is happening guys Martha Martinez is back again you know where we are so let's get into it so guys I want to say a big thank you to the comments like and subscriptions we are now at 2,000 subscribers so thank you very much no reason why this channel cannot, cannot get to 3,000 subscribers I'm going to try my best again to take on board some of the points that you guys have mentioned about how to make the channel slightly more um how could I say um dynamic in respect of how to do the channel so obviously with lighting um, and also about production I'm bearing that in mind guys so please do not think I'm ignoring what you said and by all means I'm taking it on board planning to actually purchase um, a bit of a stand as well to do it on my phone and I'm also trying to see what software I can actually get for editing as well so I do appreciate it guys and I do hope that in time you know the channel will get up to the standard that I would like it to be but you got to bear in mind when you start off the channel initially when you start off again i'm just using my phone i do have ca um, an actual dlslr camera but i don't fully understand obviously all of the functions so i'm still learning about that anyway guys so without further ado many of you guys have talked about um these perfect 10 fragrances and I actually said to myself is there a perfect 10 fragrance is that actually possible to have a perfect 10 fragrance i don't know but then actually when i thought about it i looked into this fragrance or i smelled this fragrance recently and i said to myself you know what for the cost factor, for the duration, and also for projection, longevity, all these four things, this is actually a perfect tent in my opinion. I don't believe there's anything else they could do with it to make it quote to quote better. I don't think there's anything else that was needed to be done to somehow change it. So for me guys, this one from uh, Zara, as you can see, San Francisco, now for some reason, I don't know why it's not currently available on the website, but I've actually purchased a bottle of San Francisco and Seoul, Korea or Korea Seoul, Seoul. Literally, I think it was for twelve ninety nine for the double pack. So you've only paid like six pounds. So I'm gonna go on the basis. Don't get me wrong. It could be twelve pounds or it may be, but I'm gonna go on the basis that this one on its own costs ten pounds, for example. Um, and I believe it has cost. I think I paid like nine, nine or ten euros or something for it when I purchased it anyway uh, when I was in Spain. So ultimately, guys, for me. I'm going to say that this is a perfect 10. So the note breaks down in this one, actually. The opening has like this sort of pepper note in there. They have this note called Yuzu, which is not something, again, that I've come across um, in other fragrances. But again, I've smelt it. Um, it's quite predominant. It's like, um, apparently, it's like a, 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 a hybrid between uh, a Chinese um, particular type of fruit um, and then also a mandarin orange. So you do get like a citric. It's, if you imagine like you've got a citric... Um, citric but also um like a lemon and an orange slightly mixed together that's what i'd say it's got like this sort of like resin smell to it as well i don't fully know you know how deep that goes but for me it's a very unique sort of scent um, and on top of that guys we also have some violet leaf in the bit in the midst and um, i believe there's some cedar in the base and there's also some, some vanilla in this one um but for me guys I've had so many compliments wearing this one. And again, it's not a fragrance that I particularly even like. I've worn it. I've worn it a few times. Um, you can see how much juice I've got in there. And I've worn it to the club a few times. And every time I've actually had a compliment wearing it to the club, um, ladies have literally just said, like, what is that fragrance? Or, wow, well, it's bien, Martin. Or, you know, you smell so nice. I'm thinking, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. And it only cost me £10. So, actually, I will, I will make sure I get some reviews on this one. But ultimately, guys, for me, the cost... 10 pounds, 10 euros, whatever it may be, okay? Duration, easily. I mean, I've, I've, sprayed, I've sprayed this probably on my, on my wrist, only on my wrist, probably two hours ago or so. Easily still there, still pumping off the skin, and I'm not really moving around. So this is not one I would say, I, I think you could wear this in the high heat, um, but probably more, probably more in the evening. So you've got like a sort of floral element to it. You've got this, again, it's violet, violet leaf in there. You've got this type of floral element in there, which may not be for everyone's particular, um, how could I say, everyone's particular persuasion. It may not be for everyone. Um, spicy notes in there. You do get the cedar. You do get this sort of creamy sort of vanilla as well in there. For me, guys, the duration is quite easily into four hours. Um, and again, this is not taking it lightly. I know um, some of these fragrances seem to be quite alcoholic or they've, they've got like a high burst in the opening and then the dry down, it just dissipates. But for me, guys, in my opinion, um, even spraying it again now, actually. Yeah, it's, it's like this to me could be, if this was done by a different house, this could potentially be, not to say niche quality, but it could be a fragrance which you would smell from somewhere else and think, wow, that's a very nice designer fragrance. And again, this is Zara. So, you know, ultimately, guys, you're not paid a lot of money. You are getting a nice, fresh, crisp type of opening with this. Again, this sort of using Mandarin sort of note going on. 
and also again you're getting some spicy notes in there and it dries down and um, i can't see it on there but i'm going to say that i believe it's got rose in there and i think that's one of the key elements of this fragrance which is not something which is highlighted on the on the uh, fragrance pyramid but it's one of those notes in there that if you don't like rose fragrances this may not be for you this could be a unisex fragrance in my opinion i do believe ladies could wear this one quite well but equally again as a guy i've worn this fragrance and i can guarantee you guys i've had compliments wearing it so i would recommend you go and purchase this one in a double pack so you're not disappointed if you don't like it maybe you spent six pounds for each bottle in a double pack and at least you've got something to go and test but i believe guys that this rose note is one of the key notes throughout the whole fragrance the opening is where you get this sort of, as I say, uh, citric, spicy uh, element in the top. And again, you get the florals in the mids with, I believe, again, it's violet leaf and also rose. And in the base, you get the cedar and, and it's like a creamy type of vanilla. But this rose note continues throughout the whole fragrance from the beginning to the end. And again, four, three to four hours, give or take on my skin. No problem with that. Price point is fantastic. And equally, guys, when it comes to um, projection, all day long in projection, you don't really have to, because it's an EDT, um, I've noticed that this one seems to bounce off of my skin a lot more than maybe some of my other designer EDTs. Um, the sort of alcoholic opening, in my opinion, is not there on this one. It doesn't really smell strongly alcoholic. It smells well balanced. I wouldn't say it's a heavy fragrance either. I'd say that it's more of a, it's a moderate to light fragrance, but slightly more on the moderate side rather than the light side. But you can, sm you can smell the heaviness in the opening and then it just dies down, left with this creamy rose um as i say floral creamy sort of vanilla note going on for the rest of of the, the three to four hours so ultimately guys in my opinion perfect 10 i don't believe this needs to be changed whatsoever hopefully if it does come out it's not going to be reformulated um but that's just how these things go um unfortunately but as it stands guys if you can get a bottle of this one by is going to do so and um, i do believe though there's a lot of zara stores where they have old stock and then one of these may be just floating around for some reason san francisco just seems to always be on the shelf and taken off so who knows, guys, hopefully they've not taken it off for good. But by all means, guys, hopefully that's helped you, save you some time and some money. If this, guys, honestly, if this has saved you some time and some money, please like the video. Please share, subscribe, put the bell on there, do what you need to do, guys. It helps the algorithm. We're at 2,000 subscribers now. If, guys, if I'm seeing videos and 700 people have looked at the video, I'm only getting 50 likes, I don't understand it. If you, if so many people are watching the videos, guys, by all means, just do, just help me help you keep the channel going. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.